Yeah, I'm Jeremy Nicholson. I'm Professor of Biological Chemistry here at Imperial College. I'm also Head of the Department of Surgery and Cancer. The last 25 years I've been interested in the development of technology for trying to analyse human metabolism in great detail and to understand how that impacts um, on understanding of human health conditions and how you move from a healthy condition to a pathological condition. So we have a very broad range of metabolic interest from the development of the technology right through to the mathematical modelling of the data and the visualisation of the data in ways that doctors can actually understand to make clinical decisions. As a result of um, an opportunity that arose through the Olympic Games last year, we were able to get a, a large MRC NIHR grant to fund the development of the new MRC NIHR Phenome Centre, which is a consolidation of resources, some of which were transferred over from the uh, Olympic testing facility, um, and a realignment of that technology so that it doesn't just deal with drug testing, but it deals with testing for all sorts of molecules that we know impact on human health and report on human health and diseases. The parallelization of the advanced technology is pretty much unique around the world. Um, the advantage of that is that it creates a, um, an internal harmonization of the analytical procedure. So what happens is you've got lots and lots of samples coming through, you can handle them identically in very large numbers. And currently most laboratories of this sort around the world actually have got lots of different sorts of machine. So if you've got a lot of samples, you, can't, you don't have very high throughput because all the machines do something slightly different. So what we're hoping to do is to, is to form a, a crystallization point for th these technologies um, that establishes protocols which can be uh, adapted and applied anywhere. Um, and so you can have a, a measurement that's made in America or China if it's done the same way as in our labs and on our machines, then you get the same answer. And that adds value to science, because at the moment, you have not only the fact that you have different samples running different laboratories, but they're run by different procedures, and that confounds the understanding of the significance of the results, because you get slightly different answers, and we want to get away from that. There's a lot of exciting things. Firstly, there's the deployment of the technology on such a large scale. There's no lab really in the world that has the range of analytical capability plus the parallelism of the technology so that we can cope with very, very large numbers of samples. Also, because we're working closely with the instrument manufacturers, we are developing the next generation technologies as well. So we're going to feed these new technologies into the um, uh, screening processes as and when they're developed. The other thing that's quite exciting about it is this is a very big analytical chemistry project and we're dealing with analysis of complex mixtures. So human body parts are complex mixtures, human biofluids are complex mixtures, but foods are complex mixtures, soils are complex mixtures. So the technologies that we're developing are not only for healthcare, but they have spin-outs into all sorts of areas of science, which are currently of enormous importance. Global health, uh, environmental problems, global warming, all of these areas need very advanced analytical te technologies of the sort that we're developing here. The hopes are in two different directions. One is to develop a better palette of technologies for understanding human health, uh, both at the patient level and also at the population level. For many years we've been offering training courses in multivariate statistics for analysis of, of uh, spectroscopic data, for analytical technology development in NMR mass spectrometry. But as part of the collaboration with Waters and Brooker in the development of the MRC NIHR Phenome Centre, we've installed new instrumentation specifically for training. So for instance, we've got two triple quadrupole uh, mass spectrometers and two uh, ion mobility quadrupole time of flight mass spectrometers. That's four state-of-the-art machines which we can use for training. Um, and we have a, a high field NMR spectrometer for training as well. So we're going to open up our, our courses to a much wider range of people and that adds value to the science that we're doing because of the improvement in comparability of scientific data between different countries and different research groups.